Hoppity Highness, a children's short story with dragons and unicorns. Today we have a book named Hoppity Highness, a children's short story with dragons and unicorns. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time when baby unicorns and dragons still played together, there lived a brother and sister in a village where nobody went. Their home was with the local teacher, party planner, and dragon tamer. Auntie was the only name Eloise and Edmund had ever used for her, since a unicorn delivered them to her doorstep as little babies in a basket strapped to his back. Auntie named the unicorn Freddy, made a cozy nook for him in her woodshed, and took Eloise and Edmund into her home and her heart. Auntie's house was an old, crumbling building that may have once been a castle. Eloise and Edmund loved their tumbled-down home and spent many happy hours playing games in and around the corridors and towers. Often they had a baby dragon to play with, as well as Freddy, their pet unicorn, because Auntie was always looking after orphan dragon. Monks from all over the kingdom brought the orphans to her. You may believe that dragons are dangerous, but in those days they had given up eating sheep and people and taken to fish instead. A monk called Landon roamed the countryside with a small dragon called Chef, who often cooked fish for them both by blowing steam into lakes. No one knew Monk Landon's age, but he must have been ancient, for he hobbled on a walking stick and knew nothing about modern stuff like keeping in touch with your friends using dragon, smoke Morse code. Eloise and Edmund were fond of Landon and his dragon, Chef. Landon always stayed for at least a week. He told scary tales that made their hair bristle and cooked the most wonderful fish and chips, roasted in Chef's dragon. Fire. It was almost the end of one of Landon's visits. He and Chef were cooking dinner while Auntie, Eloise, and Edmund listened to him weave a story. Outside, the rain pelted down from tattered cloud. Suddenly, there was a loud rap, rappery rap at the door. Not a polite, please may I come in rap, but a bossy, let me in now, rap. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.